What is up guys? It is Tony here and today we are doing a test on the MacBook Air M1. We're doing some more testing. Uh, one of the very requested games um, was RuneScape. Um, now a lot of people were asking for old school RuneScape which doesn't really make much sense to me because that game will run on anything <laughs> even like an iPhone 5. <laughs> Um, as long as, you know, you could get it downloaded on an iPhone 5. Um, Spec-wise, that game does not do anything. You know, it doesn't really uh, throttle your PC at all. Um, but RuneScape 3 does. And although RuneScape 3 um, isn't as big as old school, or is it big as big as old school? I don't even know. But old school RuneScape is massive right now. Um, RuneScape 3 is still pretty big. Um, so right now... We are completely maxed out, running around in a very boring area, and we are dropping frames. We're at 25, 30 FPS. Um, but I'm not sure what exactly people would run this game as in terms of settings. I don't think most people would max this game out. Um, I, I maxed out just about everything. Um, except I didn't put the game render the game render scaling to 200%. Um, I even up the foreground FPS. So I'm going to go ahead and half uh, some of these settings. And boom, right there. Just bringing down a couple... Uh, wait, what happened? It's It's being very jumpy. So... This, in my opinion, is a good example of an unstable um, emulation. Like, and I feel like Minecraft was a bit of that too. Some people say they get like better performance than I got on Minecraft, but I actually ended up getting better performance after that video. So, um, yeah, Java specifically is this still Java or is this HTML5 now? I think this is Java, the the client I'm running on right now. So Java seems to be. Um, not the best, not the best, honestly. Um, I wish I could show you more action, um, but, you know, I'm not exactly a RuneScape 3 player. This account basically hasn't been touched since 2010, I want to say. Um, which you can kind of tell <laughs> by, like, the what it's wearing and stuff. Actually, I'm not really wearing gear. But, uh, anyway, thank you for watching. I just want to do a quick little demo showing, uh, how, how much potential there is here with RuneScape 3. Um... As I said earlier, uh, you're not going to be able to max this game out, um, which in my opinion is a little bit unimpressive. Um, and I feel like in general, uh, you know, if you're not considering that this is an emulation, Java performance has been kind of iffy. But I'm guessing that, um, honestly, I think the emulation is going to get better with time, um, especially for things like Java, which is a very, you know, universally used by a lot of different developers for different purposes. So um, I think that this will get better, but right now it is playable. Like if you just lower the settings ever so slightly, um, you are definitely going to be getting 60 FPS on this. Let's go ahead. It even says right here, best 60 FPS. So let's go ahead and see what we can get. I, I honestly think it might be limiting me to 30 FPS, which is weird because I was at 50 just a moment ago. So again, to me, this is, um, let's feel if it's hot at all. It's not hot, um, so this is just like poor, poor emulation design in regards to specific titles, meaning their emulation probably works great for most things, but when it comes to RuneScape and Minecraft, it needs a little bit of work. Um, but again, if you are a RuneScape 3 player, obviously you're going to be able to play this game. You know, it's playable. Um, but I am a little surprised that they're capping it at 30 FPS. But right now we're pinned to 30 FPS. We're not losing any frames. We're lo it goes down to 29.7 occasionally. So this this specifically, um, when, when you lower the settings to what I just did, it does work. Uh, and what I did is I basically took down draw distance to high, which is good looking enough, um, and brought down a lot of these settings like halfway. To, to the lower options, basically. So water detail, I brought down to medium. Um, and bloom, I should have brought down too. But all these, I'll, I'll just bring down basically one setting. And doing that alone, um, we're pinned. Oh wait, adaptive V-Sync. Why won't, 
you know, I noticed that was grayed out earlier. I didn't even pay attention to what it was. Why can't I change the adaptive V-Sync? It's possible that it's locked because of the M1. I might be wrong, though. You guys tell me. But there you go. Just a quick test. As you can see, you're going to be getting north of 30 by a good amount um, by lowering your settings. But, uh, oh, there we go. 60 FPS. What is going on? So... It's it's very confusing what's going on right now, but the adaptive V-Sync is a little confusing. So, but that being said, <laughs> it is playable. Sorry for all the confusion. Um, but that is the confusion of translating code with Rosetta 2 for you. Uh, but there you go. Thank you for watching. See you guys in the next one.